In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using the KF and KB equations with electrolytes. Before I start this problem, I want to say that the name of this um, set of problems in Alex implies that you are going to be working with solutes that are electrolytes. That's not necessarily the case, so that's kind of a tricky name. Don't assume that the solutes that you get in these problems will all be electrolytes. In this particular problem, this solute is not an electrolyte. So it's kind of sneaky. Uh, okay, so in this problem, we are being given some information about a liquid X. We're being told it's normal freezing point. Normal freezing point, that just means the freezing point of the pure liquid. So this is our pure liquid freezing point, negative 1.8 degrees C. We're being given the freezing point depression constant, Kf. And we're being asked to calculate the freezing point of the solution that um, has 46.2 grams of benzamid, benzamid, our solute, in 300 grams of X. The equation that we're going to use to calculate the freezing point is delta Tf equals little i Kfm, where little i is the Van't Hoff factor, the number of particles that the solution dissociates into, or the solute dissociates into. For a non-electrolyte, such as benzamid, the value of I equals 1, so I equals 1, because this is a non-electrolyte, even though the problem implies that this will be an electrolyte, electrolyte. How do I know that this is a non-electrolyte? Non-electrolytes are molecules that contain all non-metals. Looking at the periodic table, like how it's dividing, and the periodic table divides the metals from the non-metals. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen are all non-metals, which means this is a non-electrolyte, which means I equals one. So in this equation, the value of I is one. The value of Kf is given to us in this problem, 3.59 degrees C per molality, which I prefer to use instead of the kilograms moles thing. And all that we need to know here is our molality. So that's going to be the next thing that we calculate. The To get the molality, we need the moles of the benzamid C7H7NO divided by the kilograms of our X, whatever it is. We have 46.2 grams of C7H7NO I looked up the molecular weight of C7H7NO. You should probably use Alex's calculator whenever you calculate molecular weights, because Alex is pretty picky about that. 46.2 divided by 121.14 is 0.3814 moles. And that we want to divide by the the mass of x in units of kilograms problem tells us that we have 300 grams which is 0.3 kilograms this gives us a molality of 1.2 1 1.27 we plug that into our delta t equation 1.27 our molality units will cancel and we'll be left with a uh, delta T in units of degrees C. 4.56 degrees C. Now, slow down, that's not the answer. The answer, the question is asking us to calculate the freezing point. We calculated the change to the freezing point. The freezing point is something that drops as so a freezing point depression. So that means our actual freezing point is 4.56 degrees C lower than whatever our normal freezing point was, negative 1.80 degrees C. 1.80, uh, negative 1.80 minus 4.56. And this gives us a freezing point of negative 6.36.